Bansang Awit ng Pilipinas. Manaman mig tukul talangit Woy mig tumpi Totano kasublan marason No konog kailingan Kamig balin tutuan noy No sub-sub toka namin gaynawa Woy mig punan toka namin umul Tumulo na anon na No mig pogpono Sa init ampaw Tengad Sa ini kay kunto Manaman amoy No ritibol sang talangit Og sampit Kamarason nun ngaran na Dumat tukay kon mo panisingan na Kakalayag Tahun liyag Karang panayangan na pamulingan mandalingan woy tumo dumapad sublap pad erit hawikal na migbohayan nuto katongod tapog nongnong tapog pataha payog patanod tanod kanami tematolos nun tularo no nakawagrit get ampot kawihana payog kasalom duo ko piana na woy katubungan na magbabayo sa ini ka ko din tugtubaro na igbohay kuro diyo ko ikaw ka magbabayon mamintoran manama no olog no gdayrayan أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين اللهم اجمع شمل الأمد والنصارى والمسلمين في الفلبين وصلت مجتمعنا هذا بالسلم والأمن والتقدم في وطننا هذا آمين يا رب العالمين اللهم ارفع عنا البلاء والوباء والزلازل وسيء الأسقام وما ظهر منها وما بطن خاصة كوبيد نينتين المنتشرة في العالم يا رب العالمين ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا أداب النار وصل اللهم على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم آمين يا رب العالمين Almighty Father, Creator of Heaven and Earth We adore and worship your holy name Our healer, baptizer, savior and coming king We stand in awe to your every creation in land, seas, and air. We humble ourselves, asking for forgiveness for our trespasses. Purify us, cleanse us, make us worthy to call upon you. We thank you, God, for the salvation you freely gave through Jesus. Today, we call unto you to bless us and be a blessing to others. Empower our leaders, our teachers, give courage to the parents and inspiration to the young ones. May we always celebrate life and love. May we always acknowledge that without you, we are nothing. This we pray in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, make me an instrument of thy peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow charity. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is error, the truth. Where there is doubt, the faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. And where there is sadness, joy. O Divine Master, grant that I may not so seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we received, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying to ourselves that we are born to eternal life. Amen. They also seize and create opportunities to proffer deeper wisdom. And here in Dapa Dapnor, these are the same people who help our clients climb the ladder of success and reach their professional aspirations. Mabuhay and Madayao Division of Davao del Norte. Magandang umaga po sa ating lahat. I am Walter Willie D. Bagosalem. And I am Glory Beth C. Pisanya. And this is... The 2021 Division Virtual Program on Awards and Incentives for Service Excellence Ceremony. Our warmest felicitations to the TEPED officials of the Division of Davao del Norte, spearheaded by our school's Division Superintendent, the intelligible with the heart, D. D. Silva, DPA Cecil 5, together with the ever gorgeous and dynamic Assistant School's Division Superintendent, Mom Rebecca C. Sagot. Our heartfelt and glorious morning greetings also to our CID Chief, Dr. Edward C. Amugis, SGOD Chief, Engineer Lolita P. Andamon, all our Education Program Supervisors, Public Schools District Supervisors, School Heads, Teachers, Stakeholders, and to all our viewers who are watching us right now via live telecast through the Tep and Davao del Norte Facebook page. Flood us with your heart, like, care, and wow reactions as we celebrate today, triumph and excellence. 
Yes, Ibet, just keep those reactions coming because today is all about commitment to excellence and religious success. We will be giving due recognition to deserving teachers, school heads, public schools district supervisors, and non-teaching personnel of the division of Davao del Norte who continuously demonstrate commendable and exemplary performance in their respective fields. Following the Tepid Order No. 9 series of 2002, as shown in our rationale. Good thing, here in the Department of Education, we have the culture of recognition. That is right, Waltz. The Dep and Praise aims to encourage, recognize, and reward employees individually or in group for their suggestion, innovative ideas, inventions, discoveries, superior accomplishments, heroic deeds, exemplary behavior, extraordinary acts or services in the public interest and other personal efforts contributing to the efficiency, economy, and improvement in government operations which lead to organizational productivity. And we are impressively blessed here in the Division of Davao del Norte because we have our leaders who always show their tremendous and overwhelming support to heighten our aspiration to attain excellence in everything that we do. Yes, I couldn't agree more, Glory Beth. I'm sure that everybody is exuberant, but for now, we shall export to your delight, for we will be joined on screen by our Assistant Schools Division Superintendent, Dr. Rebecca C. Sagot, for her welcome message. Good day and mabuhay. Today, marks another milestone in the division and allow me to extend my warmest felicitations to everyone keep the most our school's division superintendent dr d silva our teammates in the division office our chief for the curriculum implementation division dr edward abugis the chief of the school's governance and operations division dr lolita andamon all our education program supervisors, our public schools district supervisors, all the heads of sections of the functional sections and divisions in the division office, all our teammates in the division office, all our school heads, and our teachers in the field. Once again, a pleasant day and mabuhay tayong lahat. As I've mentioned a while back, today marks Another milestone for the division because we recognize the exemplary performance of our people, our teammates in the field, worthy of recognition for the love that they manifested all through the years while they are still in the active service to the division of Davao del Norte in particular and to the region 11 in general as well as that of the central office in general now through the committee on programs for rewards and incentives for service excellence or praise we carefully scrutinize all the documents evidence requirements of our nominees for agila awardees and for our Eagle Award is for the calendar year 2021. We salute you nominees and we salute you the Vision Award is for taking so many steps ahead than the rest but at the same time bringing along the rest of you as you go up towards performance and uh, with utmost manifestation of excellence. Please don't offer your award, especially to your members, to the members of your family, to your colleagues at work, to your friends and relatives, that your awards may also serve as sources of inspiration for others to exemplify good performance whenever, wherever they are. And for this, in advance, we congratulate you for achieving greater fates. 
And to one and all who are joining us virtually today, welcome, 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 and mabuhay tayong lahat. Thank you so much, Mom Kay. Now, let us hear a message from someone who manifests. Basta Rihiyon Onse, Kanunay Abate. We are immensely honored today to be joined by the father of Deaf Ed Region 11, Director Alan G. Fernando. Good day, everyone. It is my distinct honor and privilege to be extending my greetings and admiration to all the men and women in the division of Davao del Norte, led, of course, by our school's division superintendent, D. Silva and Assistant Schools Division Superintendent Rebecca Sagot and our two chief and the men and women in the division of Davao del Norte. I would like to extend my congratulations to all the awardees and those who are recognized for their exemplary performance. I'm sure we all knew that at this point in time of pandemic, we need models who have shown us how it is to stay afloat and provide a strong support. An example, especially for those who have difficulty of braving the challenge. I'm sure we do not run out of good ideas, but how to translate these good ideas into doables have been proven by our awardees today. And to all of you, our awardees, I'm sure you took a lot of introspection, self-examination, and approximated your effort into responding best the challenges brought about by this pandemic. They said that tough men are products of tough times. How good it is to recognize that person in you who have been so tough in facing the challenges by providing us a good example of the doables, of the things we can do, accomplish, and provide a better response during this time of pandemic. To all of you, I would like also to extend my thanks to the members of your family. I'm sure it is always said, para kanino ka gumigising? Para kanino ka bumabangon? This recognition, I'm sure, is truly deserving to be offered to the men and women who provided you that strength. To all of you in the division of Davao del Norte, I'm sure things will be a lot better because there are people who are so tough and tough situations made you become stronger than how the challenges have weakened the rest. My salute to those who are recognized and my strong commendation to the division of Davao del Norte. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for your commendation and admiration for Deva Dagner family, Regional Director Alan G. Parnazzo. As the world is still grappling with the impacts brought about by the COVID-19 pandemic, from wearing of face masks and face shields, to plastic dividers, to socially distant environment. This didn't hinder our teachers and leaders from manifesting praiseworthy and outstanding performances in their respective functions and whose dedications and work ethics are exemplary. And they are the people who foster exceptional performance for promoting quality education in Davao the Norte Schools Division, anchored on the trusts of the Department of Education thereby greatly contributed to the success of quality instruction, which led to the remarkable academic achievements of its learners. 
Ladies and gentlemen, here are the 2021 Outstanding Achievers in the Division of Davao del Norte. The Division Outstanding Teacher Achievers. Writer of the Division 8-week reading curriculum and an author of Division and Region Self-Learning Modules. Initiated and sustained programs in reading, including the Kubo sa Pagbasa. A public servant for 11 years. Ladies and gentlemen, your Division Adil Awardee for the category Elementary Regular Teacher, Analu G. Baldonado. Regional Writer and Self-Learning Modules in Kindergarten Regional Teacher Broadcaster on the Conversion of SLMs Granted International Online Scholarship and Early Literacy Instruction for K-3 Teachers Sponsored by Simeo Regional Center for Educational Innovation and Technology 12 Years of Public Service Healing from Santa Nino Elementary School Your Division Avila Awardee from the category Kindergarten Romia and Arsena Project Owner of Go Green Davnor Awarded as Bayani ng Kalikasan 2020 by the Center of Environmental Concerns Philippines during the 6th Dawad Bayani ng Kalikasan Awarded as International Outstanding Coordinator by the International Education Summit in Awards 2020, Bangkok, Thailand 10 years of public service Hailing from Salvacion National High School Your Division Aguila Awardee for the category Junior High School Regular Teacher, Stanley B. Manaay Thirteen years in public service, a senior high school writer, a language evaluator, and a research evaluator. Ladies and gentlemen, from Dato Balong National High School, your Division Aguila Awardee for the category Senior High School Teacher, Alex B. Aporbo. Regional Writer on Self-Learning Module in Arabic Language and Islamic Values Education in Grade 1 Sixth place in Regional Schools Press Conference in Filipino Sports Writing as Coach Overall Champion in the Division Alive Academic Festival as Coach Fifteen Years of Public Service From Kabaywa Elementary School, Your Division Aguila Awardee for the category Alive Sagera G. Tigay a Palaro Paralympics coach, gold medalist for the year 2017 and 2018. A regional sign language trainer, organizer of Project SILIP and other community extension services. Participated in the international training on SPED inclusive education. A public servant for 11 years. From Santo Tomas National High School, your division Aguila ORD for the category SPED teacher, Hidelisa B. Obrero. A public servant for 17 years, his greatest achievement is helping learners finish basic education and provide skills training with allowance. Those learners are now functional literate, becoming productive by gaining worth to provide for themselves and the family. From Alternative Learning System, your Division Aguila Awardee for the category District Arts Coordinator, Isabella C. Mislang Jr. public servant for 16 years. Her greatest achievement is increasing passing rate of learners in national ALS ANT test in elementary and secondary levels. Hailing from Municipal AL CLC, your division Aguila Awardee for the category Mobile Teacher, Marisa C. Virtudazo. A Division Unified Test Writer in Math and Filipino Division Writer of the Self-Learning Activity Sheets in Mathematics Regional Trainer and Demonstration Teacher Finalist for the Action Research Competition A Public Servant for 15 Years Hailing from Governor Duhali Elementary School Your Division Aguila Awardee for the category Elementary Master Teacher Joanne A. Castro Awarded with Excellence Award for Outstanding Teacher, Division and Regional SLM Content Evaluator during New Normal, 
service and dedication to Balik Paaralan out of school youth and adults as mobile teachers since 2009. A public servant for 10 years. Proudly from Carmen National High School, your Division Aguila Awardee for the category Junior High School Master Teacher, Judy F. Babor. For five years in public service, his greatest achievement is devoting students in actual and empirical setups, legislative sessions procedures, and simulation and accounting processes through accounting practice set. Hailing from Kapalong National High School, your Division Aguila Awardee for the category of Master Teacher Senior High School, Herrick O. Agustin. The Division Outstanding School Head Achievers. Public servant for 26 years. Her greatest achievement is making Nucarelia Central Elementary School a SPED Center and APIS Level 1 accredited. Hailing from Mesaoy Elementary School, U Division Aguila Awardee for the category of Elementary School Principal, Fe R. Torrefranca. A resource speaker for the National Stakeholders Engagement for SBM Level of Practice. Awarded Level 3 Coach in Badminton during the National Coaching Training for Beginning Coaches held at Lingayen, Pangasinan. A public servant for 15 years. Hailing from Anabongan National High School. Your Division Aguila Awardee for the category Junior High School School Head, Dr. Eric P. Indy. A public servant for nine years, her greatest achievement is giving convenience to the learning community in terms of safety environment and well-being, was able to increase partnership with the stakeholders. Ladies and gentlemen, from San Jose Elementary School, Nucorelia District, your Division Aguila Awardee for the category Head Teacher, Heidi Darunday de San Barrio. contributed significantly in the institutionalization of ALS EST and was part of the central office pilot implementation of the ALS Senior High School. A participant in the Asia-Pacific Economic Cooperation School Leadership Program hosted by the Republic of South Korea. A public servant for 22 years. Your Division Aguila Awardee for the category Senior High School Principal, Lord Lee A. Buyo. The Division Outstanding Public Schools District Supervisor Achiever. A public servant of commitment, sincerity, and honesty. A human medium for educational advancement. An educational asset served the field as learning facilitator for the teacher's various training needs bringing on-field teacher education an exciting and interesting application space. Noli T. D. Felipe, Public Schools District Supervisor in the Division of Davao del Norte. The Outstanding Division Personnel Achievers. National Service Awardee in DRRM, a speaker and facilitator of psychological first aid and mental health and psychosocial support services in the division, regional, and national level. A public servant for six years. Ladies and gentlemen, your Division Eagle Awardee for the category PDO2 DRRM, Mary Christine C. Sagot. Most Outstanding ALS Implementer in 2013 A public servant for 19 years Ladies and gentlemen, your Division Eagle Awardee Norma P. Gakote A 
and Electronic Remittance File Handler of GSIS of Division of Davao del Norte. A public servant for 13 years. Hailing from Division of Davao del Norte, your Division Eagle Awardee for the category Administrative Assistant 1 to 6, Mary Grace S. Banzon. A Certified Learning Facilitator of the National Educators Academy of the Philippines. Finished the four stages of Career Executive Service Eligibility. Lead Person in Learning and Development Pillar for Prime HRM. 19 years in public service. Ladies and gentlemen, your Division Eagle Awardee for the category Senior Education Program Specialist, Gay P. Tagiran. Congratulations to our 2021 Outstanding Employees in the Division of Davao del Norte. Your hard work, perseverance, and commitment to excellence are the cornerstones of being models to others. This recognition is a true testimony of your steadfast dedication to the Department of Education, and you are truly valued for your contributions. That is right, Walt! What about a flood heart or love reactions to our Division Achievement Awardees? Ayan! Congratulations once again to all our awardees for reaching a significant milestone of serving the Dep Ed Division of Davao del Norte family. Ladies and gentlemen, we are privileged this morning to have with us the presence of the Director 2 of the Civil Service Commission Field Office of Davao del Norte. Let us have on screen our keynote speaker, Director Nancy A. Tuazon. Department of Education, Davao del Norte Schools Division Superintendent, DDL, Assistant SDS, Division Teachers, School Heads, Public School District Supervisors, Non-Teaching Personnel, Ladies and Gentlemen, a joyous day to all of you. When it comes to recognition, the first thing that comes to mind is the most prestigious award-giving body in the world, the Nobel Prize, which began 120 years ago awarding prizes for achieving greatest benefit to mankind in six fields, namely chemistry, physics, literature, medicine, economics, and peace. Aside from a diploma and a gold medal, winners in each category also receive a monetary prize. The history of this Nobel Prize was shared to a friend telling her, wow, kahit wala nang monetary prize, basta ma-recognize ang pinaghirapan ko para sa ibang tao, okay na ako. My friend agreed with me, but added, Pero siyempre, masarap pa rin sigurong tumanggap ng cash prize. Recognition. I motivated my kids to study harder and become achievers by telling them that rewards are given to recognize those who has achieved something good due to hard work. If you are not recognized, it does not mean you didn't work hard. But it means you must work harder and achieve something greater to be recognized. Whenever my kids do not feel like studying, I tell them that it is okay, but with a gentle reminder of not be envious of their classmates receiving their rewards on stage during the recognition rites. However, they tried to outsmart me as they replied, Ma, if ever that will happen. There is always the next time for us to receive the reward. Today, we recognize the serving employees of the Department of Education Davao del Norte Schools Division, who continuously demonstrated commendable and exemplary performance in their respective field. Thank you so much, SDS DDL and the organizers for spearheading this virtual ceremony, as all people who did well in the Department of Education really deserve to be recognized for their hard work 
sacrifices, resilience, and agility as public servant heroes amidst crisis and pandemic. Congratulations to all those deserving employees of the DepEd Double Del Norte Schools Division. May these awards continue to inspire you and everybody in this virtual ceremony to love what you do, perform the task to the highest level, and achieve greatest results amidst crisis and pandemic. Let us not lose faith that we still have the chance to bring about the good in a safe future because there will always be next time in God's perfect time. May God bless us all. That was Director 2 of the Civil Service Commission Field Office of Davao del Norte, Ma'am Nancy A. Tuason. Thank you so much, Ma'am Nancy. This time, let's hear the congratulatory message from someone who sees to it that here in Dab North, we have the best. Ladies and gentlemen, let us have on screen our very own Schools Division Superintendent, D. Dale Silva, DPA Ceso 5. The Director 2 of the Civil Service Commission, Davao del Norte Field Office, Miss Nancy A. Tuazon, our Assistant Schools Division Superintendent, uh, Dr. Rebecca Sisagot, the two Chiefs, Dr. Edward C. Amugis of the CID, and Engineer Lolita Andamon of the SGOD, Education Program Supervisors, Public Schools District Supervisors, Section Heads, our School Heads and Teachers, Special mention to our Division Achievement Awardees and everyone present in this virtual convention. Good day to all of you. I am deeply honored and proud to be distinguished here in the Division of Davao del Norte where I met the most hardworking, competent, and dedicated workers. This is a home where one is considered unique in his or her involvement, but has contributed as one in empowering the various programs and projects of the division family. Why do employees stay long in their workplace? Most top reasons are good learning environment, benefits, career growth, and learning development supportive management, and recognition and awards. So then, today marks as a very special day as we honor and award our division, teacher, school head, public schools district supervisor, and non-teaching personnel, achievement awardees who have shown commendable and exemplary performance in their respective functions. These individuals have passed the division screening and evaluation criteria, showing a remarkable edge worth recognizing and emulating. Let us remember that to work is life, but putting meaning on how we work is giving love and value on it. This is a chain that creates a beautiful opportunity as we journey and serve our clients. This strong chain is actually present in the division of Davao del Norte. As we honor our awardees today, let us see them as paragons who will motivate and inspire us to step farther and do extra miles as we perform our functions with care and compassion. Let me assure everyone that the division sees the contribution of each one of you. And yes, we are creating a rewarding place where one can feel the motivation and appreciation. My warmest congratulations to the recipients 
of the Division Achievement Awards. And thank you so much to the people behind this beautiful and meaningful activity. From the selection down to this ceremony and to the next award giving body, my salute to your perseverance and commitment. Recognition has a promise, a promise of an employee's great work and excellent output. My salute to all the employees of the Dubnor family. Truly, you made me so proud and happy. Thank you very much, SDSD Del Silva, DPA Ceso 5. Yes, and we love Mom D's line when she said once that to work is life, but putting meaning on how we work is giving love and value on it. We should give our hearts in everything that we do and be a model to the people around us. I couldn't agree more both. One's actions can have far-reaching effects, much like how ripples spread when a single pebble is dropped into water. May the accomplishments and services of our achievement awardees entice and inspire us to do beyond the usual, to put an extra on what is expected, and to go extra miles. This time, let's have the acknowledgement of our CID Chief, Dr. Edward C. Amogis. Great performance is never a luck. It takes a lot of focus, heart, and hard work. I would like to extend our gratitude to the people behind the success of this virtual ceremony of the Aguila Achievement of Great Instructional Leadership Award for public school teachers, school heads, and supervisors. And also for the Eagle Exemplary Achievement for Great and Loadable Employees for we are having our virtual awarding for today. Thank you so much to our very own regional director for his virtual presence, for his message that he gave us uh, this morning, to our uh, provincial director of the uh, Philippine Civil Service, we have Ms. Nancy Tuason, our schools division superintendent, Dr. D. Selva, our assistant schools division superintendent, Dr. Rebecca Sagot, all our education program supervisors, our public schools district supervisors, and to all members of the technical working group, my salute to you all no, for uh, making this uh, event very successful through your technical knowledge about virtual awarding. We are so very grateful also of the uh, nominees, no, our uh, nominees for the regional Aguila in Eagle uh, competitions or search. So to all our nominees, good luck to all of you and we are hoping for the best of this search. Thank you so much and morning everyone. Thank you so much Sir Chief Amogis and friends. We have finally come to the end of today's virtual awarding ceremony. Let us all gather virtually for the closing prayer through an audiovisual presentation. Glory be to God for the great things He has done.
Service Excellence Ceremony. This is Walter Willy Batosalem of Santo Tomas National High School. And this is Glory Beth Cotillion Pisania of Santo Tomas National High School. Stay safe and healthy everyone. Mabuhay! Damo del Norte! Norte.